We're here in West Virginia doing the uh, Weirton Steubenville, otherwise known as the Veterans Memorial Bridge. Majeski and Masters is here to do the, the hands-on inspection of the entire length of the bridge. Uh, for, for us, um, our details primarily include a tower um, from roadway up a little, about, little over 300, 310, 320 foot top of the tower down to roadway. We got about uh, longest cable, the rappel would be about a little over 800 feet, 805, 810 feet. We have one crew doing the uh, underbridge inspection vehicles. So they're doing floor system and, and uh, undersided deck, uh, getting a real detailed look at that, that portion of the structure. That's what we call our more standard access. Um, and then to get the length, uh, hands-on of the full length of these cables, we use our technical and rope access. Uh, a detailed program use, where we use a uh, two rope system, primaries and backups. Um, the nice thing is when you use a, a two rope system like this, you're, you're pre-rigged for rescue. So um, it, it helps us in, in a lot of aspects. Uh, it gives us good control as we go down the, the cables. We can either go three feet, six feet, whatever we want to go, and stop, lock off, get a real good look, spin around the cable, look at both sides, underside, top. So it's a real nice hands-on view, hands view of the whole thing. Um, for the various locations down the cable, we use lasers, laser range finders to shoot back to the tower, give us an X coordinate down to the deck, give us a Y coordinate. So we know what cable we're on, I know the X and Y coordinates, so any defects I find can be refound by someone else very easily. This one happens to have uh, you know, multiple lanes, three lanes each direction, so uh, shutting down one lane is not that big a deal. The, the, the traffic load's low enough. Primary goal here is the safety of the public and the safety of the and the, the, the good hands-on condition inspection of the, of the structure, which ultimately is for the safety of the public. Um, there really is no conventional method. Uh, there are multiple ways to do these, these kind of cable inspections, you can use uh, man lifts, which go, I mean, the standard high man lift is 158 foot. There's a couple that are taller than that, 200, 220 or something. Uh, then you can get to the, the more exotic where you get a, a, a 300 foot crane and you have a basket. Uh, problem with those are they move around a lot. They have very little maneuverability. They have very wide bases. So you're taking multiple lanes, maybe even closing uh, three lanes of traffic. Um, depending on the size of the crane, you may have to shut down the entire bridge. Um, and then with a, a crane, the basket's going to be banging into cables and doing damage. The nice thing about the rope access is we can get down to the cables. Our rollers have uh, bearings on them, so the wheels spin nice and freely. We don't leave any marks on the cables. We can do that full length, and uh, we can do it far more efficiently and quicker than, than, say, you could do with, if you want to call it, the conventional equipment. We've got some, uh, some marvelous structures across this country, and uh, maintaining them is uh, required throughout the life of that structure. If you maintain a structure, you can extend the life of it significantly. Uh, those who don't maintain it, uh, problems arise very quickly. Um, if you take care of the little problems now, they don't become big problems later. Ultimately, as a bridge inspector, our, our primary client not, isn't the one that, that pays it, it's the traveling public. Those guys are the ones that, that uh, we care about the most. That's why we do what we do. There's a lot of responsibility with that, um, but in the same line, it, it's, uh, you know, we like what we do. Um, we consider ourselves very thorough on our structures, and, and that's one of the things that drives us to be thorough on our structures. I've seen bridge owners who do the little things, and they've got 125-year-old bridges with almost no issues on them because they take care of the little, the little things all the way along. They've got maintenance crews that, that work on these structures on a, a regular basis. They know their structures. They have a passion for their structures. And those are the kind of clients I like because one of the things Majeski and Masters, we have a passion for bridges and we have a client who has a passion for their bridges. It's a, it's a good fit.